Welcome Swift students, I'm Professor John Gallagher. This is the first simple app we're building in this course, and it's the first of many apps we'll build. No, I'm not a big fan of Hello World, so instead we're gonna build an app called You Are Awesome. It's a daily affirmation app that you can take out whenever you need an ego boost, and it celebrates the awesomeness that is you. You can fill it with affirming phrases, inspirational images, motivating sounds, and when you press a button, these will cycle through at random. <laughs> You'll also be able to toggle the sound on and off. And while the app is simple, we'll cover a lot of ground, giving you a solid foundation for building even more apps in future series. Now while building this first app, we'll cover the basics of Xcode, the leading professional tool to build apps for Apple's platforms. And in nearly every video, we'll offer new tips, tricks, keyboard shortcuts, and methods to overcome Xcode's unexpected quirks, the kind of stuff new students find super helpful. We'll also learn the basics of app layout and Swift UI, how to position items on screen and get them to look good on devices of different sizes. And while this app includes text, image, sounds, a button and a toggle, plus some subtle animations and support for dark mode, we'll detour to learn other components too, including custom colors, gradients, shapes, backgrounds, frames and stroked outlines, and working with an edge to edge full screen, as well as within the iPhone safe area. We'll also use and customize system images and symbols. We'll introduce some of the trickier but critically important basic concepts for Swift UI app building, including state and bindings. We'll work with a variety of controls, including text fields for user input, color pickers, date pickers, and steppers. And after that, you should feel comfortable enough to try out new components on your own. You'll also get a solid intro to the Swift programming language, variables, constants, data types, type conversion, arrays, generating random values, while in repeat loops, for loops, conditional logic with if, else if, switch case, ternary operators, and compound conditionals, functions, refactoring, and much more. And by the end, you'll have an app with an icon and a launch screen installed on your device. The videos are fairly short, so you can do one, two, or more every day and really build your skill over time. Ready to be a Swift and Swift UI programmer? Then let's learn big.